Okay, my friends, for this special, <laughs> and I think it was like this already in 2006, because you know why? Because I remember the kids, American kids. See that right there? Right there it would be. This is a old factory, whatever this is, and it's been since like, just like this, since 2006. In my opinion, it was 2006 because it was a lot of Americans. Uh, unless the whole crew and I uh, returned very possibly also in 2010 or something like this. But otherwise, this is in the center of this gersh. So if this was not in 2006, which I'm pretty certain it was, there is a chance it was in 2010, but this thing was, in my opinion, in 2006 and maybe even in 2005. Alright guys, you hear me, you see me, good. Still here, you can still come and whatever, I think there was more made in this factory than just whatever they have publicly advertised, whatever. Alright, and this audio what I'm gonna do is first the title would be identified vacation village entire vacation village make no mistake and we are going to the 2002 we're not gonna talk about 2005 2006 2004 all right 2003 maybe here and there but other than that this is all about 2002 foremost uh, this is vacation village located right next to the lake and I understand it's not even a Linda Lake it's funny on a Google Maps it's advertised as a Linda Lake but you gotta go over and see exactly the area from the original recording I indicate exactly the area where this thing was audio recorded um, at least six people were identified and I am looking forward to go back with police department if this is necessary and go from house to house if this is necessary at all because this audio is just brutally brutally factual so factual that I don't know if there's a police department in the world that on top of all other proofs they could possibly doubt about my credibility, my witnessing about the whole thing. Um, I have already suggested that's exactly what I'm going to do. If the police is not willing to cooperate with this thing, I will have to turn my attention to International Police Association and beyond, whatever it takes. Uh, this thing it's got to be finished. I'm 47 years old. Lost 24 years of life in this. For no reason at all. I have created trouble, troubles to some people. But just as I've explained, really the politicians did, the business people did. Including myself. Yeah, somehow, miraculously, I swim out of this thing. A Polish people helped me out big time and it's why I'm doing it this way too because I want home I don't want a country there you know just anything can go uh, I don't want to be this number one rape destination I want to be this a place where I can raise my children safely where they're gonna raise their children safely and so on. This is why I'm doing it this way. It's harder. I cause myself foremost a lot of troubles, but the people of Poland deserve it. They deserve the best. To get the best, however, you have to believe in yourself and you have to fear foremost of fear. Because fear is the one that kills. Let's go. Hello. 
I'm gonna have to interrupt this for a moment like this I put this thing here I can barely hear anything here we'll just try to go inside and see how this is gonna look like All right, uh, it might be, it might be okay, uh, maybe it's going to work. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to amplify a little bit more. And I'll use this as a studio for today. It's special to some people who are here. This is actually right at the entrance we go inside of this village, there's a gentleman on the right side who promised that he will help me number one who is the gentleman this gentleman promised that he will help me out when I come around in fact his English skills are not so good I made a mistake in our original recording because I suggest that his English was good okay he did spoke few words in English but he sworn that he would learn English because of me so when I would come around that he would assist me he did communicate it with Americans somehow he did uh, and this is what the situation is he is related to a gentleman that you're about to hear in continuation um, thanks God that he was he displayed me like a little angry attitude although I know he's not angry at me he just did very well his part because he reminded me of the situation that happened in this place okay uh, and this is a gentleman that I think it's disabled that has um, birth deformities according to the birth already not that he would be in some kind of accident or anything like this but he's got a birth deformities his body is deformed and it is the gentleman that unfortunately came across me in MK Ultra and the first thing I did I snapped at him and started to insult him and so on and so forth and this gentleman actually have spoken a very good English at least I think he spoke the best English in this whole place if I properly remember in this village um, once I insulted the gentleman, um, he eventually, and this is something that angered Americans, Trump, when he got, when this got to his attention, um, eventually he was really upset with me because he started to favor Russians, which till then he did not. Um, again I am very sorry for this this was yeah this was the worst thing I did on the MK Ultra um, if I did something wrong on an MK Ultra I shouldn't have done that and I did it there is no uh, excuse for that really there is no excuse for this one um, there was all kinds of stuff done in front of me on the MK Ultra obscene stuff sex MK Ultra staff members, they teased, they did all kinds of disgusting stuff that you possibly could not believe what kind of stuff was going on. Um, beatings and electroshocks and all kinds of abuse and torture, sadistic stuff that went on. But this was just really, really a mistake that some staff members who even approved my type of attitudes uh, were discouraged from you know seeing me as taking the right direction um, so this gentleman who promised me that he would help me and this and that did not uh, but what he did was he welcomed me to the place and he wanted me to see the place so basically. My first place in Grotniki was located in Boruta Oshrodek. 
This is Borta od povičalne, od uh, Zuota 5, uh, excuse me, no, no, no. Borta uh, od početek vacation, but it's not a village. It's like, like a little apartment complex and then you have for the children and stuff like this. This was my first location in Grotniki. Um, but yeah, I have explained exactly what the first location of uh, Mr. Musk, Elon Musk was. Uh, we came from the Krakow airport second time in that summer of the 2002. It was in fact toward end of the 2002 summer. And yes, I was staying inside of the same house as this is a little vacation house as Elon Musk did in 2002 because he was in charge for my case. He was my, if you want, case manager or whatever at the time. So that's all there is. I asked him about the presence of Americans 2002 and stuff like this. He knows nothing. By the way, I knew nothing about this place till I actually walked inside. When I walked inside, boom, all of a sudden, like, a lot, a lot of memories open, information about the houses, about the people, personal details about people again that I would not know if I would really not know these people. I knew I had something going on. <laughs> it's a good thing too. <coughs> the person, excuse me, that tells you that <coughs> he doesn't know about this stuff. Talk to you under MK Ultra so many times, straight in the face, um, because that kind of a yeah, it does a little anger you, to be honest. This kind of stuff, you know. It's not illegal stuff. This is not illegal stuff. And this is, actually, this is a crime, a very serious crime. Uh, and, you know, to hide the evidence like this from an individual that was brought in a place like this, this is not the way to go. But this gentleman did exactly the right thing. And so did the other one. I see this village as a village of angels, as far as myself concerning this village just the best people i think i could ever come across a really really good people i hope in fact i hope i actually managed to institute trust in me personally with good deeds for these people these people these people are angels to me personally they kept things I think there was a little assistance too from the police department, but the police department has to clarify a lot of issues in respect to the tapes which they have obtained about me, basically watching me on tapes, how I was tortured here in the city in this gersh in front of the business owners. This is like for me the most important stuff uh, because no person in Poland should be terrorized uh, by anyone from the outside subjected to a torture publicly to basically traumatize entire population the city and then entire country and so on that's how the 2010 Smolensk happened there was nothing nobody opened their mouths for the entire nine years about Smolensk anything in it hundred people murdered nobody opens their mouths at all nothing people believe actually that shooting over there of the people in Smolensk was a fake video it was real it was just so screwed the whole thing uh, that nobody dares to speak about anything so I'm here to unveil all this stuff <laughs> did traumatize people and make this country great again along with Ukraine, Baltic States, Czech Republic, Slovakia and so on.
because we got a whole a lot to offer. I tried to ask him if he possibly could remember sir and so on, but he insists he wants me to go inside. <laughs> As I go inside, see you, see the place, see you. He says, no, I don't remember anything. I say thank you very much and I go. I'm talking to my father, he's lying and this and that. I don't remember the whole thing at this point. I don't know what I have done to his friend, but I have heard his feelings like this. This is yet another gentleman. This is way younger gentleman. The other one was in his 70s. This one, this is younger. This one is in his 30s. This is a gentleman whose parents, this is old house, um, Parents I knew personally, father with the glasses and so on, mom I remember very well them. And I remember him too, his son too. Uh, and so I am completely, at that point when I meet the person, what I want to do is like everybody, what you want to do is just tell me. Do you remember me? Do you remember any Americans and so on here and stuff like that? You know, but they don't let me off the hook so easily. And he also goes, no, I don't remember, I don't remember. I see the sirens, maybe here I really could be in trouble, whatever. Okay, so, but there is no place I can go actually record, the city hall is closed, everything is closed. In library you're not allowed to talk. This is just my location for today, whatever. Okay, I think this one is going to go, according to scenario, as I was told, this is going to be soon as you come here this one is going to go down too oh yeah i am going to have to do at least i'm going to try to do as soon as i'm done with this all right so um then I'll let me off the hook go and see and also let's see if you remember me um oh I'm just going to leave the tail out I was going to talk about. And so what I do is, I talk to him. He wouldn't give me any account about Americans. You know, I think he mentions, I don't know, something about Russians, whatever. Whatever he does, um, it's not really helpful. I walk around, I go, walk, walk, walk. I make maybe three minutes walk, something like this. And I'm saying, damn it, you know, as I'm talking to him, I know him, and this and that. I turn around and I come back to him and I say, sir, can I ask you a question? Just another question I would like to ask you. And the first thing what I do is, you are from Lodz. Lodz is 20-25 kilometers from Grotniki, 25 kilometers. Uh, not Zgersh, not Ozorkov, not any of these cities around here, but Lodge, straight from Lodge. And he's looking at me like this and he says, yes, I am from Lodge. And I said, the home you have, you have inherited from your parents. This is your parents' house. I remember your parents gave you this house. And he also gave me that kind of confirmation. Now, you don't go to the people and say stuff like this uh, unless you're 100% certain about it. And so if anybody thinks out there that this is not like completely legitimate, think twice. I should say just listen. I love them because they're asking me if I want to buy any, 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 a lot over there or something like this. 
you know, and I'm saying, yeah, I, I would also like to oh, buy that, sure. You say that. But, no? like, no, I would not. You say that, you say that. It's like he doesn't know me or something. And I go, I first time 2004. Pretty much the same story I'll tell. Were you here? Yeah, sure it is. Borota is what he said right now. This is the one. Borota uh, was the one I have stayed the first time. Uh, the first time, the first place I stayed in Grotniki, in Uoch, was in Borota. Entire team of the people consisted of Eastern Europeans. Slovenian Borot Pahar was there. Um, he had some, of course, my neighbor. Um, and they had some other people, delegation. They had Czech people, Mr. Miller Zeman. Uh, and a whole bunch of other people. Of course, Ruskis were there and so on and so forth. This was the first time, okay? And then about maybe two months later, that same summer, toward the fall, this is where Americans, I would appear there with Americans. I have to say, however, that Donald Trump, Elon Musk, everybody knew very, very well about my first stay in Grotniki. I have people like, on a friend's list, I have, let's say, Rebecca Elbot, back then still um, Mrs. Björklund and I apologize for my behavior toward her because I was really really upset about it not that I would be upset about that I would not recognize her or anything like this under MKUltra but I deemed that her attitude in Norway during 2010 was just totally inappropriate I think uh, and so that's why I got really, really upset about it. Uh, these people caused me a lot of troubles with Eastern Europeans. Eventually, then they left me behind uh, big time. So this is not exactly what you want to do, but I do apologize for my conduct. Um, Norwegians, maybe some German, something American, few people only were along with us, just to observe a little bit, to get familiarized with the area. Uh, but other than that, everything almost was Eastern European. So. He speaks a little English, not much. Is what he says. By the way, the people say that they did not acknowledge the presence of any Russians it is basically what they are saying. They did not acknowledge any presence of any of any Russians. Um, I agree in 2015, 2017, 2010 and so on, Russians eventually figure out that uh, Americans alone would not go anymore 
to Grotniki like this anymore, like it was in 2005, 2006, 2004, 2003, 2002. Um, they no longer would go in there too. What they would do is they would use inside of the Grotniki, they would use either Polish people uh, or they would use, they would let Americans handle this stuff. Whichever way it was done, uh, Slovenian crew they would use and so on. Whichever way it was done, I was told by the Russians alone that they are staying in Zgirsh while I am in Grotniki. So they would not want, I'm talking about the people like Yuri, my roommate, I'm talking about Valerio, the two people who you would just have to go around with a photo. It's what people in Grotniki recognize them from 2002, 2003, 2004, 5, 6, and ask people about it, and you would get that kind of recognition. Other Russians that came afterwards and so on, it was not the same thing, but Valerio and Yuri, they were well recognized in Zgirsh, in Grotnikov and so on. Eventually, people that, they got nothing to lose because of this video recordings and stuff like this, or the stuff that was done, there was just no way out, it was just idea, a Russian idea was just to stop this somehow, block this, make a contract, make negotiation and even cash money out of it. But this is never gonna happen. If I'm staying in Poland and tra la la. It's like he would not know me, and it's this type of attitude, behavior that is, uh, you know, um, no, a little bit difficult, very difficult. Kind of, you can you can imagine just how degrading this kind of stuff is. But he is helping me. He's really helping me because uh, I manage to pull the information out of my brain and help myself out. Otherwise, I would be good as there. See, I come back and I ask him, are you from what? I am. Uh, and I say, the house where you are in inside, this is the home of your parents. And he says, now, uh, this is my house. I said, yes, but the only way this can be your house is that your parents gave you this house. But other than that, this was, like I said, I can very well describe father and mama. Uh, and he confirms me. He says, this was. This was from your parents. And I said, they gave it to you, this house. Maybe sometimes in 2013. This I'm not very certain. It could be 2015, 2013, I say. Mm -hmm. uh, what is he saying? Um, that I think whatever they bought or whatever in 2005, I, I'm not really what? Let's go this, this again. This is a little bit important that I have to do it. Um, Your parents. No, no. They gave it to you like in 2013. Okay, he misunderstood me. <laughs> he misunderstood me, obviously. Um, he misunderstood me. I they gave it to you in 2013 we are going here to 2002 not 2013 
in 2000, um, in 2013, I said, no, 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 I said, excuse me, in 2013 is when they, your parents gave you this home. He says, he says, he says, he says, I don't know. I don't know when my parents gave it to me. And I said to him, but I do know. I remember you very well. I remember you and your parents. I don't know what else I say. Moment. I don't know what I say. Um, I don't know what I said, but he is agrees with it. Um, I don't remember any other detail. This is pretty damn good details I have given. And so that's it. I live. I still try to get an idea. I mean, I was very clear about 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006. Very clear about his home. I don't know where he got the idea about... Very clear about it. He misunderstood me. Um, I go about again the same stuff. Um, pretty much I would like to get the confirmation from these people to recognize me. And at the point here is that when you recognize so many people, then even if they say they don't remember you, eventually when you re remember so many people and so many details, they no longer can say that they don't remember you. And this is my my technique that is used here, because there is no other, nothing really. Is America Ponocna? Donald Trump people. To be the United States politically businessman. So I give him the yeah, refreshment, yeah. he does not want to listen yeah, to this yeah, stuff. Miami. And I give him a little refreshment about Miami, this and that. No, what are you doing here in this and that? He doesn't know anything of what MK3 is, anything. This, this is um, just my way out, being polite. Not that I would be stupid in any way, but since he asked me exactly what I'm doing here, I'm doing this kind of a stuff before I say bye bye. I want to thank gentlemen very much, despite not giving me exactly the confirmation that he remembers me or Americans even and stuff like that. Okay. So I tell him that I'm trying to collect proofs about it and so on. By the way, today is May the 31st, 2019. He's interested in my movie I'm making and so on. So it takes a whole lot of people to identify like this and the stuff like this. And They're not allowed to say anything. It's the only thing you can hope for, basically, is to. Uh, the only thing you can hope for, basically, is that they would give you a green light. This under MK Ultra, this place here, this location here. You uh, you wanna hear the police department in Zgirsh, What you told me. No cameras here, but right there, that one. Right there. We don't get you in this property. That one has a cameras right there. And it is gonna be and blah blah.
Okay, I'm just saying this, you're not gonna say I don't remember. I remember for a whole lot of details. I stay around a little bit and I tell you what, the memories come back. They come back. I can see things like yesterday when I was here. Now I meet a gentleman. Now this gentleman, this is again gentleman, I think I would estimate his age about probably 70 I would say. Ah, and I see this, how do I meet him? All right, I see this beautiful Polish house and I'm going to give you a little bit history about this house too, so you're not going to say that I don't know what exactly what I am talking about. The police knows exactly where this house is. I got to say that I felt extremely uncomfortable recording around houses like this. This is what goes through my head when I do this stuff like this is just that trespassing, that's one thing. The second thing is that violating privacy of the people because you're disclosing like private information. You can even see these houses anywhere on uh, on a Google. They would not allow even Google to go inside in there. So when I'm doing this stuff, I'm not recording the houses. I'm not doing this, any stuff like this. And that's why I'm asking the police department from Sgirsh eventually to assist me. So we're not going to, I'm not going to be going inside in there and doing this kind of stuff. Going around with a, with a camera and doing the stuff like this is just, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's violation of people. Basically is how I feel. So that's why I insist on somebody going with me basically and then give me as an officer after I give a clear account about it pretty much a green light about the stuff I'm talking about we're gonna go from home to home from house to house and we're gonna build about when which house whatever house was built this is an old home this house this was not a vacation villa or anything like this this is an old house uh, Elon Musk was impressed with this he wanted the house already was renovated one time since 2002 sometimes i think i have no idea maybe 2005 2006 maybe something like this that they were renovating something like this uh, and he just wanted to go inside also and see it it was in extremely bad shape he just want to go inside and see this house wanted to see what is it like on the inside and this and that uh, and so I'm thinking about that now there isn't much to think about uh, there isn't there isn't much to think about unless let me think about I think it was 2005, 2006, whatever they were doing, something in this house. And so I too want to see this beautiful house. It's a wooden house and I'm so curious about how would it look inside, what, what would it feel to be inside of that wooden house. And I see this gentleman and he is out there. I mean, thanks God he is out there, he's standing out there basically to help me out. He's not going to give me a green light that he eventually remembers me or that he remembers any Americans. When I talk about the Elon Musk, when I start to talk about these people, they blush. But you could possibly also imagine if one of these people alone would go out there and say, Hey man, we had an Elon Musk here. We had a Donald Trump here. We had all these rich people here. My God. And you see the village like this, probably they would think about them. They're like ticked in the head or something like this. That too might have been a factor. So that I might also help a little bit. People basically to give themselves a little more credibility is that 
someone somewhere any sometime would not sound too strange crazy a little bit because this is I think how people feel about uh, they fear that they would be a knowledge as, as if something would be wrong with them if, in case they would come up with a true I think um, and so I start to talk to this individual gentleman and we have a nice talk he tells me these are new owners whatever and I would not he can't allow me to go inside in there it's it's locked and so on and again does not recognize me does not remember any Americans Russians whatever I leave the place but as, as I as I walk you know I'm thinking about the other individual from watch I'm thinking about him and I'm thinking about the gentleman who tells me that he was not here this place huh? that this was the place that was from his I don't know what he says mom sister whatever but I remember him from MK Ultra he would come occasionally on vacation and a summertime when we would be here and I'm walking and I'm thinking what 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 and you're gonna hear me I'm gonna say Poznan you're gonna say Poznan this is a city in Poland I say Poznan and I turn around Poznan is far away from here it's about 200 kilometers from here far and I turn around and I walk back to him and I'm thinking about must be Poznan and I'm thinking about could also be could also be Wroclaw which is on the other side but still I go with the Poznan I said I come back to him eventually come back to him and I say you're not from Lodz okay not only that you're not from around here you're not also you're not from Lodz I said you are from far away from here you are from another city city like Poznan I think or maybe even Wroclaw but I think it's Poznan well he looks at me boy and he goes just like he promised he would if I would pull this kind of information out gives me a green light on Poznan uh, tells me there's about a hundred kilometers a little further but the thing about him is that he wanted to help me big time and what happens is from which you would go to Poznan and then what it is there is a, a in Polish Bor uh, Les Borovi uh, Las Borovi bo, Boro Las um, something like this I'm not pronouncing properly this this is like like a huge 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 area this is not like a little town this is just like tremendously tremendously big area that starts right behind the Poznan and goes then up uh, toward Gdansk area toward north of the Poland is what I was even taught by the lady in the library in Grotniki library so there you have it this is yet another shot what is the story behind the Poznan the gentleman wanted to help me as much as he possibly could the problem however is that there is another city closer to that area but nobody knows about that city it's I cannot even point I, can, I don't even remember right now the name of that city because there are many many big cities in Poland and that city is just way smaller than Poznan it's a big city but it's way smaller than Poznan and for the foreigners for the internationals you have to use you know points like Wroclaw, Gdansk, Poznan, Krakow Warsaw and so on Szczecin and so on otherwise you're not gonna you know you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to help them okay so he gives me a good proximity and I pinpoint one and so but this was if you want already a hundred percent shot the second shot I mean it's about the same thing like I did with uh, a gentleman from what was it Afghanistan 
I am sorry from Iraq in the center this is the kind of stuff that is just uh, now you go figure out I mean so that's why you haven't seen me recording this house is this and that but with the stuff like this I tell him about an American who was interested in this, Elon Musk. He is smiling and this and that, but he wouldn't give. No, I don't know nothing about it. Four years is old this house. I tell him we were here in 2002-2003-2004. All the time the people were, well, the, people, the house was renovated. There is nothing about Americans. Talks to, to, talks to me about, talks to me about, uh, talks to me about the owners and stuff like this. Again, I can tell you about the owners. The owners are the Polish people who bought this, who built this, not for the vacation purposes. They bought this to be a home, and this is the second home oldest home in this place in this vacation village the first one the oldest home the first one that is still standing i should say okay i shouldn't say stuff like that the first one that is still it no longer stands there are, there's only a fundament how you say the basis left the rest it's a new construction a home if I, if I try to remind myself, this home was risen from the ground after it was already demolished, the base only was left, a new construction basically, I think they built one, rebuild one if you want to say this, sometimes, you see this would be the best I would go over there and do it again so I get the proper memories but still this was sometimes in what I estimate maybe was 2004 2005 so this practically of all the houses in this place this is like in original state this is the oldest house yeah sure I was elsewhere, I don't remember anything in 2002, 2003, 2004. It was a long time ago. Mother, bro uh, brother and so on were here. I was not here. I was elsewhere. He says, I was not here. Uh, he says, it, it, it ticks to me immediately that the gentleman was not here. It ticks to me immediately that when he says that he was not here, it ticks to me that he was far away from here. It ticks to me that I'm going to have to think about far location from here. Because he talked to me about this stuff. And he told me, if you're going to point out, if you can at least do Poznan, and you're really, really good. And... Right now, I am already thinking about, he returned back and I'm asking him, so you're here like three years, because it must have been in 2017, oh. because it must have been in 2017 that um, I most likely was at this place. So I'm thinking about when have we met then in that case, was it uh, 2017? Now, there is a construction around a house, 
it looks like all messy everything around this house like some kind of work is being done and this is something I'm contemplating on and whether this was in 2017 already but I wouldn't go that far I would not say that because this would do me no good so let's just continue with this it wouldn't do me any good because you don't understand it wouldn't do me absolutely any good because they continue to play double game you can do the mess around the house and you can clean the mess and say there was no mess and you can recreate the mess and say hey it was not like this in 2017 you understand me why there is some other stuff too but doesn't tell anything about where he was what talks about the home I remont this and that I said could I possibly go inside and see it it's so beautiful he doesn't let me when they come and you can come back and ask them and they will let you go inside he says this general means that another angel okay listen to this stuff I gotta say this whole thing you have no idea how double this game is played you have no idea no idea on that MK Ultra, you know how discouraging this stuff is I'm gonna give you a taste what it means to play two double sword kind of a game it can be like this and it can be like that I was told about this situation that possibly I could do something positive about it if I would be really excellent about it. Chances you go figure out what your chances are. At the gentleman at the first location for him I was told even today I don't know you can, I can take the light detector test I don't give a excuse me shit about what are the registration tags people use in Sgirsch or what are the registration tags people use in I don't know in um, in all the cities around here including Lodge which is the biggest one and probably has a different decals anyways I don't give a shit because I don't own the car my goal is to finish here buy myself a car and then leave like a human being right now I'm not a human being right now I'm just a half human being basically what I have is over there that thing that you see right there that's all I have so I don't give a shit about what kind of a deco car decos and so on I don't care about it my task here is to finish this move on with life eventually buy myself a car and move along and way more than car uh, so my being preoccupied right now about tag decos and so on I'm not but it was filthy it was dirty under MK Ultra they insisted on how the gentleman I have spoken earlier is gonna have a car parked over there and I will be able to see read his tag and this and that and then another gentleman who also came with a car whom I have recognized on the street I understand uh, he must also have a car tag on his vehicle but the point here is basically is what I have stated and it's all what I remember and it's exactly this kind of shit that they parked these vehicles that prompted me to pull out of the memory quite insane information the information about where they were or what kind of professions they have uh, what they were doing exactly in 2002 um, how they got the house when the parents gave them a house and shit like this otherwise 
I felt that, yeah, somebody's going to say, well, you know, there was a car, they call it a tag, and he could have read this and that. They did the stuff like this. So this is not a easy game. When I say, when I say that house might have been in this condition as it is today already in 2017 when I was brought from the Belarus, it could have helped be for day two, whatever it takes, just to make an impression about it like this. You have no idea the stuff they have done here too. They try to mislead me on vacation center that is right next to um, Borta vacation center with this one. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. Little tricks, little things that they try to confuse the memories, old memories with and so on. All right, so that's why I'm saying this kind of stuff. For everything I say, I have a good reason. Why? So I go, no information, but as I walk, again, the same thing. I'm thinking about, man, you know, as I'm talking to him, you know, it's a very weird feeling like this. You know? I still try to back and if he remembers American, if he remembers something, anyone, anything. Let me see something, if he is actually saying that there were some Americans, let's hear this. Now this is, this is a little bit important, I think he actually says... Yeah, I'm gonna have to find that and see if... Alright, once again... He says no, there was nobody, no Americans. He says only a normal people. And he says normal people. I am a little bit skeptical, even more so because that following day at the library, a lady stopped by. And I just happened to sit right there in a company of a few people for the first time. Uh, they drink. And I try to listen a little bit what what they have to say. And it was one lady that keeps talking about psychologists, the psychologist, and it sparked in my mind memory that in Grotnika they actually had psychologists. They would start to handle um, the people around that they would compel against this. So there was a little rebellion in, in Grotniki but it's got something to do with government with psychologists and stuff like this so they pretty much gentlemen might have been just as well a candidate as well terrorize people with psychiatry and so on uh, that stuff might have happened as well and this is a stuff i do not approve I, I say to him i say to him uh, you know i say sir but they're also normal people and he is laughing. I say they are all normal. Just the politicians is what they are. He is laughing. Okay, and so I walk away. He says the owner is going to come and you can, you're welcome to come back and see it. Come back and see it, he's going to come. I thank him and I go my way, basically. But as I walk, I do exactly what I have stated I'm going to do. Uh, I pull out the memory of City Poznan. Original audio recording already is online. You were able to go through and listen.
Poznan, Poznan, I turn around and I go back to him. There you go, Poznan. The gentleman, when he hears me saying Poznan, he goes like, um, he's almost going up flying, basically. He gets excited, he's happy, for me he's happy. That's why I do it this, I do it this, so... More than a money, this would be a place where people will feel their home. And a place that would do well. I say, please, can I ask you? You're not from Lodz, sir. There you go. Uh, you most likely are from Poznan. Wroclaw, Poznan. Poznan. You, 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 you lived in far away from here. You were not in the lodge. And I'm thinking about the other gentleman. And he keeps ringing to me that you're from far away from here. You're not, you're not from, you're not from Lodz, Poznan. No, Far away from Lodz. Now he's talking about Wroclaw. I don't know why he's talking about Wroclaw when I mentioned Poznan four times and Wroclaw just one time. I want to hear from here and from his own words if there are any Russians were around too. I'm thinking about... He says, I was far away from here, close to the border, and I say, yes, I am saying that you are far away from here, because earlier I have met the gentleman who was from Lodz, 25 kilometers from here, but you are not from Lodz, anywhere near here, you are from far. Maybe he hopes eventually that I'm going to say Wroclaw or something like this, but I'm not saying that. But I said, can you please tell me where were you, please? And he said, Bo Bolitohovsky, Bolitohovsky. Okay, in Slovenia, Bar is... Uh, what is it? Timber. I don't even know how you would say right now in English what, what the proper word would be for it. Um, Borituhovsky. Well, where is this? There you go. Uh, Bovituhovsky, this is where you go to direction. You know, it's like he's hesitating. It's like, it feels like he's hesitating to say. You know, basically answering me what I'm asking him, basically. It's like he doesn't know whether he would say or not. And he says, this is where you go to the Poznan. 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 There you go. Poznan. Okay. 
pakao od tu među, to kvar i nije. Dvijesto, od Loža do Poznana dvijesto, a tam gdje vi ste bili? Tako da je kod vas. This is around the area of Poznan. Behind the Poznan, the area that goes falls about, I estimate, maybe 100 kilometers short of Gdansk towards south. Gdansk is a port, Baltic port, 100 kilometers down from the Poznan all the way to that area is Bortuhovski. I got some more sirens. I hope they're not coming to take me away. Let's continue with the program. Yes, for that 300 kilometers. Aha, it's water from the 300 kilometers. Yes, yes, yes. Aha, okay, so yes, from the Poznan. Yes, yes, yes. So there is around where Poznan is. Yes, there is. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am quite relieved. Um, let me explain something, okay? Uh, I am also going to go and ask the other gentleman that I have spoken about his location because I think he was the one who was driving me around not too far from uh, Grotniki, he and his wife. And so I'm going to have to go and meet him and get his location out because it came to me more and more and more that he is the one who did this gotta find him and I think I'm gonna get yet another green light now this is the stuff when you do the stuff like this no I mean please when it when it comes to MK Ultra when look suppose that you would meet somebody in 2017 I think it was in 2017 so this must have been the Ruskis Wroclaw that he reminded me that he refreshed me about about this situation and so for that matter there is a very strong possibility that house in 2017 it, it doesn't look like this but sure it's messy around the house it could have been I have no idea what it didn't look good in 2017 I think but like I said this is something you know I have already explained about this kind of issues if you can do the stuff like this, that you're going to go and talk to the gentleman and he's going to tell you, hey, I am from, you know, such and such location and you're going to go in a, in a, in a real time and, and pull the information out like this. Or it might have been 2015, I think it was. It could have been in 2015, this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It could have been, you know, definitely I met him in 2006 and before that when he would come for vacations at home. But the thing about it is that you know, I'm sure that they try to help as much as they could, but if you would go like this and just you would not even be exposed to MK Ultra and you would go around and get person like this, now that would be really extraordinary. That would really be extraordinary if you could possibly do the stuff like that. You would not even have to be subject to MK Ultra. If you could remember the stuff like this, it would be awesome. There you go. Then I go to this location. So this is the second person we can say that miraculously, if you want, was identified. Continue to the friend of the gentleman I have met first. He is in this house right next to where I go. Yet another street where I go see it. And he comes to me there was something with a fence. And I, the first impression, because I remember it was with a fence. Fence, fence, fence. They did something with the fence. And I see this funny thing that you have seen already on the video. Bambus, like bambus on top of the fence. Let me say something. In 2002, when they did this thing, this was... It sure not only would make an impression, it sure not only would make an impression on me that, you know... Um, 
it looked like a wall because especially because this bambus was fresh it sure did look like a wall for one thing for the second thing they wanted me to memorize this thing Elon Musk helped me out with this thing he wanted me to memorize I don't know did he make a deal with these people I don't know what he did what's going on um, regardless these angels preserve this bambus that you have seen on the video just the only thing I'm looking right now is where the hell is that fence I'm, I'm seeing this bambus but this is not exactly the fence so I kind of figure out that the property that is detached from uh, from the house that is next to that it was might have been that property that was uh, without the fence and they fenced one this is what it comes to me but I have to tell exactly how things are I cannot lie about anything so the first thing what I do is I make a mistake so the gentleman when I ask him right there about it he tells me no it's everything the same as it was in 2002 and 2003 and I'm thinking about it and I'm saying to myself boy you are not telling the truth and I look more into it and it comes to me about the bambus the one that I have demonstrated on the video then it comes to me that Elon Musk wanted me to film this from the outside from the inside so this is boy Elon Musk uh, not such a bad man after all um, he did wanted to help me out but and I did really quite a few bad deeds I did and so that's something definitely that I have to count him as a plus all through he became quite rude over time to me and did found really dismissive and insultive ways maybe to stimulate me too I have no idea what was behind his mind but sure sure enough I recognize the fans the gentleman did the right thing because he wouldn't give me he wouldn't say whether this was built in placed on, on a fence in 2002 but he tells me it was just as it is right now in 2002 and 2003 so what happens is yeah bambus I can tell you already is from 2002 uh, if you would know this kind of a stuff this is the stuff you would not dare to say this is just a bambus it's dry not looking good anymore ready to fell go away uh, and this was done in 2002 for my sake so I could identify when I would come back in the future um, this is the way it is this is how we gotta call things as, as they are uh, this is the gentleman I have insulted this is a gentleman with deformed uh, body from birth there was no fan. this is the gentleman that spoke no uh, spoke at least English very well the best better than everybody in this village oh, yeah, and this it. is what they resented me because I was oh, yeah, yeah. very very inappropriate oh. stupid and I fell under empty ultra afterwards so stupid for what I did eventually this gentleman was a turning point for me because I realized that I did go too far that time even if it was MK Ultra um, now this was the first time that I developed feeling that even if it was a MK Ultra that yeah you know this time I really screwed up things a little too far I said to myself it was like a little turning point for me quite a turning point I started to think about the girls talked to me about this they were very disappointed about me well this is the way it is I gotta tell you it is Can you Alan Musk did a good job if you wanted to hear. what happened was Ruskis have used this kind of stuff so they could go around and rape women hurt people big time cause damage um, you know that's all that's all I basically with this kind of stuff that was very bad Maybe I just 
point that came out and that fucking idea, that was weird, the whole thing was weird. You see how pathetic this Rusk is, I mean, they need to create evil, you know, evil of any kind, so they can somewhat look good. So the real evil can somewhat look good, they are pathetic as it gets, it doesn't get more pathetic than that. That's why I have taught a gentleman today in the library. He is very pro ruski I told him about, he dreamed something about the Iran and this and that. I told him that Iranian politics is straightforward, stupid, idiotic. And it's the Russia that needs Iran, North Korea, so one can even exist. Because Honest to God, if you look at the letter, Russia is about 100 years technologically behind West. Everything they got, entire technology they got from the West, they have not produced nothing. If you give them the technology of today on the table, and they would have to go over to see how this actually was done, created, it would take them about 100 years to realize how it was done. This is what Russia is. And so for the Kremlin to go on with this type of politic, with this type of whatever you want to call this, they need somebody like North Korea and Iran. And I feel very sorry for North Korea and Iran that they took... This is, this is a radical... This is a radicalism to insanity. If you look at other nations that cooperate with the US, with the Western Europe, with the West, they prospered. If you look at Russia, the only thing you can see is welfare of technology. And those that deal through the Russia with the United States of America, with the West, because this is what it is, just simply get less even what Russia have. They eventually have to support the bottom ladder system. That's what this is. And he goes the same to the Poland. He goes completely the same to the Poland. He confronted me and said, well, the Donald Trump, what he's going to do is, he's going to build a Fort Trump here, and then he's going to let uh, Russians inside, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I said, you know, it's actually better than this, because if you're not going to demonstrate to be a sovereign nation to the world, and I had in mind nothing more than those tapes, then what's going to happen is, for the world, is not going to make any sense to deal with you. Why should they deal with you if you deal with a Moscow? I should say, if you act on behalf of Moscow. In that case, they should just rather turn to the Moscow and deal with you through the Moscow. This is just plain, simple, natural, mathematic, plain rules of logic this is the way it is. To be worded something, first you have to demonstrate that you exist, that you are an option, which definitely Poland and Ukraine, along with Baltic State, Czech Republic, and others, can, if they want. But then if they don't want, then that's a totally different story then. Then it's also not worded to, you know, why would I put myself in between something that is like this? I mean, why would I literally shoot myself in the head because people don't want? You gotta give people whatever freedom, whatever the hell they want. If the two million victims in Siberia that ended Pulse and Katyn and everything else that Russians did was not enough, if the 13,000 corpses in Ukraine was not enough, uh, you know, if more wars are needed, if more problems are needed, then as well as mine, go ahead and continue with this kind of politic. But I still claim that if Slavic affairs would be based in Kiev and in Warsaw, things would be very, very different than what they are today. The Russians have demonstrated incapability to govern even their own affairs, and not only affairs of other Slavic people. And he goes the same for the Belgrade. If capital city was in Zagreb, Yugoslavia probably today would even exist and be prosperous. This is just 
rules, the laws of logic of nature, this is the way it works, and repeating the same mistakes does no good to anybody. Let's continue, let's move on. Yeah, it does come to me about this stuff about the fence, about the fence, and I'm pretty damn certain that because it was a fence, they, it must be the fence they did. They would keep bringing me back and asking me about, and I would keep talking about this fence. So. This is the gentleman I have insulted. I tell him about this and that. I'm certain it was a fence, I tell him. And, yeah, but he is, he is abrupt in manner, you see. And what, he said, and what. Yeah, you know. And I'm saying it's so beautiful and this and that. And he goes, and, and so what, and so what. First, I am, like you say in Polish, a little bit, well, maybe a little bit orajoni because of this. But, you know, I continue relaxed. I try to get as much as I can. And I start blah, 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 and he just cuts me. Ta da da. And I'm talking about the fence. The Ograda fence, there was no fence in 2002. This is just, this is just not exactly barbed wire fence, but the type of fence like, you know, whatever goes under the barbed wire fence, not a big thing. The big thing is the bamboos they placed, the one that I have demonstrated in the video. It was, he says it was, it was. Um, my mistake, it was. It was. It's so my mistake. Nothing changed. I doubt him. I said nothing changed. Really. It is just as it is. I'm thinking what the what 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 right now. It's just I'm thinking I'm saying to myself right now when he's saying this now he's going through my brain what are you saying who is this gentleman and this and that tra la 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 so i'm running the background going back to 2002 what what this gentleman and, and afterwards and so on it's good that i went around and i came like this that this was like the last destination i came somehow lucky i i ended up like this going Okay. Now I give. Now I throw him a bone. I tell him, "You too have not changed yourself." I tell him, and he goes, "What?" <laughs> I say, "Okay." I say, "I thank you, gentlemen, and goodbye." And I go. And I'm just, what, what are you saying? And I'm just start to think about what, but that's, there is a fence, it's got something to do with the fence. And I walk back and forth and he comes to me, there you go, that's a bambus right there. Uh, this is what it was. Okay, this, this thing made under MK Ultra such an impression on me that they sure insisted and insisted and insisted on this thing that, uh, he made a big impression enough on me to 
you know. You can hear. I'm just thinking right now. What, 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 what? Then I figure out it was a bomb. Then I, I go and I show him. And I say, but this here, this 2002. And he says, he doesn't tell me the truth. Probably because I told him. Probably because I told him, but you haven't changed too. You are also the same as you were in 2002. Now what he does, he tells me. When I ask him about the bambus, he tells me back too. He tells me, this too is the same in 2002 and 2003. Nothing changed. Okay. The important is to remember this was placed on the fence in that case. Where he says that this was in 2002. This must have been done the bambus since 2002. I asked him if he remembers me. No, he said no. From 2002, do you remember me, sir? 2005, no? Oh, you do. Any Americans that were here, you remember? No. <laughs> I say, you don't or maybe you don't want to know. And she say, no. Thank you very much and I go, I leave and I remember. I remember the whole thing. And so, uh, I was just about to leave, I was just about to go. This was just about for me.